Good morning. So, the video you're about to watch, I want to explain here, and that is us belling our sorghum Sudan field. Our uh, bells per acre was not that great, actually. And the reason why is we've had very little rain uh, this year. And I think once we planted it, we might have had two and a half inches of rain. So it's it just didn't produce like it should have. Seed heads came out early on smaller plants. I mean, you know, we had 24 inch plants that had flag leaves up and boot stages coming out. So that's not good. We needed it to be five to six foot tall uniformly. Now there were some areas that were tall. They got real tall, got did good. Lower moisture areas, things like, or uh, higher moisture areas, lower ground, I should say. So those produced. But the rest of this, I mean, we're three weeks out from cutting and we have very little regrowth because it is so dry. We have not had rain. I can't, I can't remember how, when was the last time we had rain, actually. It's been a while. And uh, we thought we were going to get some. We didn't get it. We thought we were going to get some more. We didn't get any of that. We got a chance of a tropical depression moving this way. I don't know. It don't sound very good. You know, one thing you see down here, just looking, these plants are trying to come back. They're, they're doing their tillering, right? You know, growing out from the side of the stubble that we cut. But there's just no moisture. There's no, nothing to supply them a reason to live. I mean, you look at across there, it's the same way. And, you know, on the other side, they came back a little bit quicker because it was, I mean, all that stuff was under three foot tall when I mowed it. But it stopped. It stopped growing pretty much. It's not doing like it should. I mean, theoretically, 30 to 45 days, we should be cutting again. Uh, we're at 21 day or just over 21 days. Yeah. Wow. We're almost at 28 days. And we have no regrowth hardly. So just to give you that information. So when you watch the video, it's about to happen. You notice there's not a lot of bells in the field. You know, we were having to make some long runs to get a bell in. We did okay though. The bells we got are great. I mean, they are awesome hay. You can smell it. I love the smell of uh, sorghum Sudan hay. It just smells different. I mean, it's got that sweeter smell to it. I love that. And so we, the, the, the hay we got is awesome. We, we really like, you know, like what we got. Next year, we will go to a photo period sensitive variety just in case we get another stretch of drought like this. So that way we don't have to worry about going to seed. We don't have to worry about all those things that can happen with a non photo period sensitive variety so i just want to explain that so get ready here comes the video well good evening late afternoon where you want to call it from the ranch uh hey we're gonna make some hay today this is our sorghum sudan He's Right before this, you saw it being cut. I didn't take a video of it raking. I, I don't like taking video of raking because it's the most boring job in the world. Uh, so what we got to do is we're going to start here. We're going to build this field. This is the field that did the best so far. And then we got the one on the other side of our driveway to do. Uh, it didn't produce as much, but the regrowth on it has already taken off. So, and we've had no rain. We're in a uh, pretty exceptional drought all of a sudden, really bad. We went ahead, I went back and looked. We went ahead about 10 inches of rain, so this whole year, which is really, really low for us. I mean, we're like a 38 or 42 inch rain year usually. Yeah, we're in a drought, so. But, so yeah, this is get up here. We're getting the wind row right here we got created. I don't have the other GoPro out. I mean, it's like 100 bazillion degrees outside. And matter of fact, let me get the exact temperature. It is hot outside. Well, it's 98, feels like 99. I think they're lying. It feels like 150. There we go. 
going to go extremely fast on this field, but I don't want to go extremely slow either. So yeah, we this is our sorghum Sudan. See, it's already coming back up on the other side real, real fast. It's coming up on this side too, so that's good. Uh, we've got to get it all bailed and picked up. Pray for rain. Ooh, we need rain bad. I need to fertilize still. But I can't do that until I know there's rain coming. Anyway, we started. So, hey, this outside row here was a little bit of a grass on the side. Is in here. So I just went ahead and ranked it as a single row into it. And then we'll get into these heavier rows here in a minute. Said we're we're in a pretty pretty bad drought. I, I'm I should be happy with what I got here. I just know that the potential was so much more, but with no rain, oh my gosh, it's bad. So I don't know how much hay we'll actually get to sell. If we don't get rain, we won't be selling very much. Be lucky to keep some for our cows and sell what I think we'll have left. Slow down over here. No reason I have a wreck. We're gonna start a bell on hay. We got some of that stuff where my tire marks were at right here and it popped back up. But you can see it's a lot thicker right through here. It's definitely taxing that uh, intake a little bit. Doozy. 